Miami Heat. He's just got so much fight. Kevin Alston has come in and, and, and really settled in very, very well. Coming off his last club, New England Revolution. Well, the fireworks that you heard as the match kicks off, of course, not the only fireworks that are in store tonight. We'll see the Moro Diaz corner the first one tonight for FC Dallas, 10 minutes in. And it finds Walker Zimmerman, and the mistake by Orlando is converted. Goal, FC Dallas, and Zimmerman's second of 2016. A good hard runs from the big young center back inside the 18-yard box. But it's a goal that should have never happened if you're Orlando City, and it's the perfect description of this season in 2016. Why, oh why, would you try to play through that much traffic? And full credit to FC Dallas for capitalizing on a completely unnecessary mistake. Keep an eye on Zimmerman. Mateos, Mateos isn't even close to him. Between Saren and Higuita, I would hope that they would be more concerned in the immediate five minutes of keeping more of the defensive shape. Oh, here's a Rudy playing it into Mario. He's hit Linda. It's two for FC Dallas, 10 minutes apart. Michael Barrios. Oh, this has the potential to get really ugly for Orlando City SC tonight. Completely disconnected across the back four. Two holding midfielders that aren't compressing, aren't collapsing, and just a complete step behind. FC Dallas on the front foot, proactive with their movement, the speed and athleticism just causing so much havoc in the final third. And again, Joe Bendick completely hung out to dry. Silky smooth little lift of the ball right there for Barrios getting his sixth on the season. Tiva Harris to Gressel with some space. Close down, Castillo. Oh, he's no And he comes out on his line. And Redding then able to thump it away. See Dallas, and here is that little combination play a moment ago. It's just three passes. It's three passes, but it's the dynamic movement off the passes that affords the ability of FC Dallas to continue to break down Orlando City. Just finishing their chances tonight. Speaking of Castillo, here he comes. 1-2, Diaz back to Castillo. Bendik on Mitch Castillo. Bendik does get back in front of goal. Now Castillo's got a chance, got it on his left foot. Forced to save by Bendik. It'll fall to Diaz. Mateo, and Darwin, Saren were there to stop that. And it will be a corner. Yeah, you take another look. Watch the way that Castillo torques his body and then just cuts back inside. It's just like he's swallowing. That's a great save from Bendik. I mean, very easily, this could be 4 5 nothing in the first half. Throughout their existence in MLS, why Tommy Redding's off the field. Diaz whips that free kick in. Held in here by Barrios. Oh, look at the bicycle attempt. Walker Zimmerman, oh, he is feeling frisky tonight, Dunny. He's already scored one goal. And Walker Zimmerman goes for the bicycle kick. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen Breck Shea get in the attack and take another look. He struck it really well. Struck it very, very well. And Breck Shea, really the first time we've seen him get up that left-hand side. It's a good ball, unfortunately, as he cuts it back. It's led to a goal and very nearly a couple of others. Let's see what his choice will be here. Diaz whips it toward the back. Oh, the third for FC Dallas in the first this year for Matt Hedges. Diaz sets it up. Hedges finish it. And the onslaught continues for FC Dallas. And I hate being that announcer that just continues to point out mistake after mistake of an individual player. But he was at full a few times in the first doesn't matter if he gets away from Zimmerman. This time he's on Hedges and David Mateus. He's just on the wrong side. Watch him. Watch the mark with Hedges. There's no attempt. There's just no desire from Mateus to stay with Matt Hedges. It's horrific and criminal defending across the back line. Games as well. And when the U.S. plays in Seattle, if you saw the quarterfinal in Copa. Oh, Black stay down here. Black stay down here for Tesho. Playoff for Castillo. Passes it into the net. That is four. A little cherry on top of the Sunday tonight for FC Dallas against Orlando City SC. 4-0, a stoppage time goal for Fabian Castillo.
It's a bit of history, by the way. It will separate him from Jeff Cunningham, now moving alone into fourth in FC Dallas Club history, and goal scored. Tesho sets him up. Well, it's a late, late step from the back four of Orlando City, and Tesho takes it down at full speed outside of his right foot. And full credit to Fabian Castillo, recognizing that he can make himself an option. Luke Bowden just gets caught ball watching, makes no attempt to stay with Castillo. And very, very unselfish from Tesho. He could have taken his opportunity. All that's left is for Chris Seitz to preserve the clean sheet. And that will happen. It is a 4-0 win for FC Dallas over Orlando City.